The joint security area between the Koreas has begun its transformation from tense standoff site to peace zone. I'm Alex Jensen for North Korea Now, witnessing the planned disarmament of the almost legendary JSA. Indeed, the area's been immortalized in books and in the cinema, and an operation started today to begin a new era, more specifically to clear landmines as part of last month's inter-Korean military agreement. Over 20 days, the two sides will engage in joint works to remove mines and explosives on the JSA and upland areas in Towan, Gangwon province, according to a military official here. It won't be easy, however, with concerns about the small workforce and equipment available to them. The ongoing danger of landmines even decades after the Korean War was particularly highlighted in Park chan mystery thriller, Joint Security Area, released in 2000. But without spoiling the movie if you haven't seen it yet, it also demonstrates the personal bonds that can develop across the inter-Korean border. If this mission goes according to plan, it would enable a project next April to search the Taiwan border area for the remains of an estimated 300 soldiers from both Koreas and the United Nations Command. Much sooner than that, by the end of this month hopefully, we're expecting to see tangible disarmament steps, including the withdrawal of troops, guard posts and arms. And that really would be symbolic of at least a more peaceful zone.